In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about how much a mortgage broker makes, whether you're employed or self-employed. So thanks very much indeed for tuning into the channel and I hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you catch up on the daily videos that we are chucking up online for you. And also like this video and share it with somebody that you uh, know who's gonna get into the mortgage industry. Uh, you can also leave me a comment because I always reply to my comments uh, and let me know your thoughts and feelings. You know, I think we'll start with employed mortgage brokers. Uh, you know, I started my career as an employee working at the Woolwich, then on to Connells, then for a brokerage up in London, uh, as well as in Colchester. And I would say the majority of employed mortgage brokers probably have a 20 to 25 grand salary and earn commission on top somewhere between, uh, you know, 25 to 35%. Now, most estate agents, for example, will target their mortgage brokers based on the number of mortgages that are written on a monthly basis, usually say 10 mortgages a month. Personally, the number of mortgages I do doesn't pay my bills and it never has done. So I've always focused on the income that those mortgages are going to generate. Now, it does depend who you work for. We won't focus on banking, but we'll focus in broker world because that's the world that I've been in since 2004. Uh, what we do in terms of getting paid is we charge the client a fee, and that fee is gonna depend on your skills, your niche, your expertise, your length of time perhaps in the industry, the problems that you solve. It should range from 250 pound through to a couple of thousand pound, depending on the client's individual unique circumstances. You're then gonna receive a procuration fee, which is a percentage of the mortgage loan paid by the mortgage lender, uh, which you then get you know, 0 0.35, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, in rare occasions, 0 0.8 on commercial deals. You know, So you're looking roughly, for argument's sake, 350 quid per 100 grand that somebody borrows. Uh, you've then also got commission on life insurance, you've got commission on general insurance, and that commission totals a value for the sale. And the more sales you do, the more commission you're gonna ultimately earn. So I would think that a an employed mortgage broker should be able to write, so that's sales, roughly a hundred thousand pound in their first 12 months at least. And that would be a good starting, probably an experienced broker. I have trained a trainee back in 2008 who managed to write 135,000 in his first 12 months with no prior experience. He was under my hard mentorship uh, for, uh, for 12 months. So it is possible to write more but you have to be guided, you have to be mentored. Uh, it is possible for, depending on the size of mortgage you're going for, you know, if you're doing 100,000 pound mortgages, you're gonna be limited in terms of the amount that you can earn. If every mortgage is a million pound, then that's different because you can do more mortgage, you can do the same number of mortgages, but earn 10 times the amount. So that is also a consideration. But I would say on average, you know, an employed broker, including commissions, is probably gonna earn somewhere between 40 and 60,000 pounds if you're a good, you know, experienced broker. Um, you know, your basic salary plus your commissions. Now, I do know some brokers who work up in the city uh, who write astronomical amounts. You know, they've been with the same firm since 2004, 2005. They've got a massive database of people that get in contact. They earn six-figure incomes easily um, and high six-figure incomes as well because of the deals that they've been on having worked for the same company for such a long period of time but i would say majority of employed brokers somewhere between basic salary at 25 up to as high as let's say for argument's sake 40 to 60 thousand so now if you're self-employed it's going to depend on your experience if you're coming into it cold you know this is a, this is a really rewarding job it's a job in which you can earn a hell of a lot of money uh, but it's about having the right systems and processes. It's about having the right support in terms of administration, marketing, potentially additional advisors like I have now. Now, you know, my firm is now currently seven advisors, one, admin one operations manager, 
uh, and then my advisors have got their own admins, plus we've got two or three admins in our head office uh, supporting those self-employed advisors. So I, after the credit crunch in 2009, built an insurance brokerage for 10 years. In 2016, when I discovered a niche of self-employed mortgages, I got back into the mortgage market and from a dead cold start in January 2016, uh, I managed to get quite a few high net worth clients looking for larger mortgage amounts. Now I was able to write 260,000 uh, from that dead cold start in 2016. I was then able to maintain that whilst working less because I was spending that time working on the business rather than in the business, which helped to move it forward and drive it forward from a marketing and a strategy perspective. Uh, but I would say, you know, from majority of brokers, you're probably looking at maybe a hundred thousand pound in written income. In actual fact, I would say most starting out brokers are probably lucky to do a thousand pound a week. Uh, you have to understand the key areas of business, leads, you know, marketing, sales, admin, finances. They're the four key areas. And if you're focusing on all four, then you're never gonna be able to grow your income to where you want it to. But I'm also a big fan of starting with the end in mind. So if you know you wanna do 100,000 pound in written income, then you have to set the targets in order to be able to do that. Now, we're very good at what we do within my brokerage. So majority of business that we write i.e. sales, applications submitted, generally makes its way through to completion. But particularly when you're starting out and you're learning and you've got to understand all the different nuances of all the different lenders, all the different criterias of the lenders and all the different applications, how you apply that criteria to individual clients, it could be harder for you. You might be looking at a 15 to 20% sale to completion rate uh, because of the lack of experience which you're building. This job is difficult. So it might take you some time to increase your income to where you want it to be. And more often than not, it's actually better to stay with a firm for a long period of time because when you leave, what happens to your commission pot? What happens to your pipeline? Because you sell a, a mortgage today, you submit the application today. It might take you three months, four months, potentially five months to even get paid. Uh, you know, you might get your broker fee up front. You might be able to sell some family income benefit or some income protection now, but the mortgage protection, the will, you know, these areas aren't going to be written and sorted until completed. So the journey and the time scale that it can take to earn your money can be anything from three to six months. You know, generally when a new advisor starts with my firm, we give them at least six months until, you know, they're getting consistent sales, which then leads to consistent income. It is completely possible to earn six figures personally in this job. Uh, it's, even, it's even possible to go well up into the quarter of a million pounds providing you're taking on an administrator. You know, I had a marketing administrator. I had a, a full-time PA when I was writing those numbers in 16, 17 and 18. Uh, so you need to have support because this job as a mortgage broker is heavy on the administration side. And the more time that you spend processing applications, filling in paperwork, submitting documents, uh, keying information to the lender's website, is less time that you can spend speaking to clients, doing your next deal, marketing, building your brand, getting the awareness out there, you know, connecting and networking with more people. You know, it's Front end marketing leads to more sales. If you're spending time on admin and finances, then you're limiting your ability to earn more. This is what I teach majority of financial services professionals inside the Pro Academy. Uh, if you wanna find out more about that, then you can just go to financialpro-academy.com. All about building a successful financial services business that gives you the income so you can do what you want with who you want. Uh, so the money that you can earn is unlimited, it's uncapped. There are millionaires out there in financial services, but they have team, they have businesses, they have other advisors working with them, uh, some may consider for them, uh, but I like to look at my business as partnerships. So, easily to finish off, if you're employed, you're probably capped at earning for majority of companies that you may work uh, for at around about 60,000. And that's a good salary for an employed mortgage advisor. If you're self-employed, 
then I would say the majority of mortgage brokers earn somewhere around about the 50 grand mark a year personally taking home. Um, your kind of middle of the road advisors will be hitting the six figure mark and then the exceptionally good ones who also build businesses will be well over the six figure sums. So I hope that gives you some inspiration. I hope that gives you some education around how much a mortgage broker earns. It takes hard work. It takes commitment. It takes dedication. The longer you do it for, the more referrals and recommendations you get, the better you build your brand, the more people you can solve problems for, the more niches you move into, the more income you can potentially make. It's always an element of value goes first. The more value you bring to your clients, your customers, and your prospects, you know, the more income you're gonna earn as a result of it. Thanks very much indeed for tuning in. Any questions that you have, hit me up with a comment below, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel.